I'll just go f quick in this PowerPoint and then I'll show you the real data from the from the long paper. So <clears throat> uh, this is about uh, a YouTube channel, and the goal, my goal in presenting this to uh, fellow workers in the church in the field, is to encourage people. I am not a pastor, I am not a theologian, I am computer science background. So please tolerate uh, if our language is not the, the same very much. Uh, but I want to help the preachers. I want to help the pastors. That's why uh, I try to do this, what computer science can bring into the mission work. And uh, I observed my channel. Um, okay, how many opportunities, uh, how we will discuss about the opportunities uh, by the way, I, this is actually, I want to call it evangelism, but you know evangelism, you have to baptize. If you do online evangelism, you cannot baptize online, that's why I just called it religious education, teaching. And what are the challenges and what are the good things about uh, online videos? And uh, I, we will look at my channel, and then most of the data and numbers and pictures of graphs come from the tool in YouTube, it's called Google uh, YouTube Analytics. This is very, very easy to see. I'll show you by and by. And uh, when we observe, when we observe the channel and how the views happen and the interactions, that's what I'm, I want to share with you. So that if you see somebody or you want to do it, you know uh, which things work and which one uh, don't work. And then also we have the biblical and SOP uh, background for this. So the find the findings. Some of the factors I found, if you upload video early, you will have advantage of having more views. So the early adapters have, so if you want to upload videos, lectures, uh, sermons, evangelistic materials, do it quickly. If you have better one, do it again. And better one. Don't wait to be perfect. You know, Windows, they didn't become perfect. They got 90% of the market. Apple, they, went, they wait to be perfect. Windows already took the market. So just try and uh, early uploaders has an advantage. Another important factor is the title. You know, in English class, we were taught that <clears throat> to make mysterious titles, you know, the things that can interest people, make people curious. But that does not help in online because how Google works, it tries to, you know, when you type things in Google, it tries to match the words as and into the titles of the documents and the URL. So those are the factors how Google ranks the pages, the links. And the more the same, your, the question is with their question and your title is, the higher you are in the rank. If you, uh, we will see examples. And that's one of the interesting things uh, we can do with our sermons is to title them according to what we think the people who needs the sermon will ask Google. Okay, and of course topics, there are interesting topics, there are topics that draw more audiences, there are topics that uh, are uh, different. So author reputation, I observed this when I uploaded uh, David Asherick testimony and some other popular uh, missionaries testimony, they just get videos even if we don't promote because their name is popular. Of course author reputation, uh, there is, I don't know, uh, and then benefits of online videos, okay, uh, views, the more views, you know, when you see suggestions, in, if you watch YouTube, there are recommendations, suggestions, you tend to click the one that has more views. So if you do early, you will have more views. If you have more views, you will have more views and more views. And then relatedness recommendations. Sometimes when you watch YouTube, there are recommendations here and sometimes they are annoying, right? Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you have your own channel and then tip the recommendations here distract your viewers. But I found out in the entry, uh, what is this? Where people come inside, or how, how people get my video, they found, I found out that about 20 to 30% of people who view my videos in my channel come through the recommendations. That means if, if they are watching another video, some of my videos come in, my, in the recommendation and they click. So it's annoying, but we also benefit for the, from the recommendations, relatedness. Of course, 
uh, I only want to get my uh, literature from the ones that I'm sure because you know I'm a layman it's better to be sure safe and uh, we get it from the Bible there is teach a little bit maybe baptize and then teach all things and I want to emphasize the all things because that's where uh, many are lacking and of course the book evangelism is a very nice checklist and it even says that there are there will be ways that we don't expect new ways of new methods of doing evangelism and, and of course the seminal paper of uh, Larry Page and Sergey Brin the CEOs uh, the presidents of uh, Google when they were at Stanford University they uh, described how Google works how they do the page ranks and etc so the way the way we under if we understand how Google works we know how to make our materials go uh, become more popular <coughs> There's another thing, questions in the description. I observed this with uh, Doug Bachelor videos when he did a uh, series calling offshoots and backsliders back to the church. He was invited by President Ted Wilson uh, some years ago, January, to preach, I think, four or five sermons in the GC uh, building, uh, so covered by Amazing Facts and Hope Channel. And I tried to put all the questions, it's in question format answer, I tried to put all the questions into the descriptions and I suspect that it added to the views because when you see the questions you are more curious what is the answer and there are things that are very hard to uh, easy to to measure you know the humility prayer even not this is not only true for online videos even if you do evangelism some people may have more product than not so if you are already doing it, it's uh, good, especially the power of the Holy Spirit. So the challenges, the negative things in online videos, <clears throat> there is low viewer retention. If you are preaching in a church, people don't leave because they are shy to leave. In video, in YouTube, the average viewer retention is three minutes. That doesn't mean you have to say everything you have to say in three minutes. That just means it's average. But by God's grace, my channel has an average viewer retention of 19 minutes so that means there is a hunger for truth out there in the internet we don't see them we don't know where they are from we only see the countries but there is there are viewers and there are many distractions when you we watch uh, youtube sometimes facebook tring, and then we you know you change stuff or sometimes your cooking is, uh, is uh, getting fire you, you you there are many distractions and there is a lack of interactive dynamics when you are preaching in a real audience you see their eyes and if you have plenty of experience you can even read how they feel etc so in youtube you just see a camera nothing you cannot you don't see feedback sometimes even the preacher is bored because you don't see anything those are the challenges with online videos of course there are also advantages you can replay you can it's like a book it can be long but you can stop put bookmark and then come back for it in youtube also you can just do something else study and then come back and continue to watch and then you can post if you want to study or check out some kind of dictionary or what meaning of the word <clears throat> and it doesn't cost anything anybody can have a youtube channel right doesn't cost anything not like uh, our terrestrial channel that costs three million or a satellite uplink that costs eleven thousand dollars per month just to uplink so this one doesn't cost anything and it covers the whole uh, online world if our world has about six or seven billion i think about two billion are already online and we have to go there because the rest of the billions will be online soon so we have to uh, put our truths there so that when they when the holy spirit impress them to search how do i pray how can i be saved in google our videos will be there already i'll show you numbers later and worldwide audience potential we have viewers in iraq somalia afghanistan and other Kazakhstan's. you know i was talking to dr john grass the parallel director of the gc he said uh, if you want to the hardest place to go are the muslim countries we can give you free ticket one way only because we are sure 99.9 percent .9 you're not coming back alive <laughs> but so this these countries we really have never dreamed of going i see the map of the world i put the mouse here in analytics 
I see there are viewers. Some countries, uh, we don't, 219 countries. So it's really, uh, the people are wanting the truth. Pastor Amaral has videos, Kuya Jun has videos, Pastor Vergara has videos in my channel. And there's viewer analytics, very easy, no need to, to do statistics, you just click and you will see. <clears throat> Another thing is variable quality. If you do terrestrial television channel, or even satellite television channel, you have to have some kind of standards. But in YouTube, you can use your cell phone. You don't need to buy a million peso camera, because anyway, the connection is low, they cannot watch high quality anyway, they will watch the 144 kbps or 520 or so on. So, if you have good camera, good, because you can watch 1080, even 4K. But, you know, it's variable. So you, you are going to the different segments of market uh, bandwidth of the market. And there is increasing viewership. YouTube is not going back, it's going forward. The internet is not going back, it's going forward. There are more and more people, you will see the numbers later. And no time limit. There is time limit, but no practical time limit. One of the most popular videos in my, <coughs> in my uh, channel, uh, Brother Jun Lumingkit is here. He preached 666 Mark of the Beast in Tagalog. <coughs> why, he, why, why he preached that? Because I uploaded all Discovery 08, Mark Mike Finley, Australia. <clears throat> you can download them and I uploaded them on YouTube and I observed which one is most popular. And from Mark Finley's sermons, 23, the most popular is Mark of the Beast and 666. So if people are interested, I told you maybe you want to preach on that. So he preached in Tagalog, Mark of the Beast 666, and he likes to preach long. It's okay. Sometimes I sleep while I do the camera. <laughs> and he has to wake me up again, again. So he preached 2 hours and 24 minutes. Mark of the Beast 666. He has another version, two of them. It's 3 hours. But the, 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 the solo version, but that is the number one in my channel. Wow. The numbers, the numbers don't lie. These are not manufact uh, manufactured. So if the people are interested, and I was wondering why, that is the number one. You know, if you type 666 mark, I also made a sermon 666 mark of the because I want to capitalize, to make views, to experiment to myself preaching also. But I don't, I only get few. Maybe he's praying more. <laughs> so I found out if you type 666 mark of the in YouTube in the search, you find many in English. But if you type Marka ng Hayop, which is the Tagalog for Mark of the Beast, there is only one video in the whole internet in Tagalog that talks about Marka ng Hayop. It's the video of Kuya Jun, Brother Jun. That means it is possible that in other languages that you know, that we know, there are not yet Adventist videos in the internet. And this is what I tell all our friends in the Hope Channel and Traven in HBN that we should, you know, fill the internet with our truth. Because when different people, all the languages that we know, when they come to search, we, they have to find the truth when they uh, search. Okay. One more thing, uh, Daphne Kohler, the founder of Coursera.org, she is a teacher in computer science in Stanford and also in the education in Stanford. So she has computer and education backgrounds. She says that, you know, if she teaches in Stanford, maybe she can get 300 uh, students a semester or a class a semester, and she teaches se several classes. But in her whole life career of teaching, you know, there is some thousands of students she can influence. But they tried to make an online class in internet, and on one class, one semester, she, they have 80,000 students. And uh, even if, of course, not everybody finishes, even if only 20,000 finish, 20,000 still is a lot more than you can influence in the classroom, right? So one semester in online versus your whole lifetime of teaching, how you can do more, uh, there is more potential to do. And you can automate your uh, teaching. I was telling you that Equation 666 Markanang Hayop is the most popular. It gets about, in the last 28 days, it gets about 820 views. That means in the last 28 days, he gave 820 Bible studies about Mark of the Beast 666. And so <clears throat> that's just one video. If you divide over 30 days, maybe 20 Bible study about Mark of the Beast, somewhere in the world, we don't know. While he is sleeping, while he is driving his tricycle. 
your wife is cooking for his kids. So this is uh, automated teaching. So the, the biblical basis, of course, the Great Commission, and uh, the, uh, the, the aspect of automated teaching, because sometimes I ask, what do you want to do, evangelism, automated or manual? We said, we want manual. But there is two things. The God told Habakkuk, you write the vision. So there is, because we cannot do manual, we will die someday. And Habakkuk is still speaking now. Even Ellen G. White, when she was getting old, God impressed her to not accept all the speaking engagement, but to spend more time writing. Therefore, we have so many things to read. And of course, we are, our life is limited. Preach, preach, preach. One of uh, our uh, pastors in, in the union uh, communication, Pastor Fair, our relative, he recorded so many sermons in AWR, and it's being transmitted in the air to ships, shortwave. And some people got baptized, they want to see Pastor Fair, and they said, ah, oh, he died two years ago already. So, if you record your videos, your videos, your videos as preachers, it's, even if you die, you are still baptizing, uh, you know, you are still doing evangelism. That's good. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to show you the numbers. We have five minutes left. Uh, let me see which ones I skip. Okay. Oh, these are the... If you see United States, this is old. I think maybe several months ago. U U.S. has many views. So we have many viewers. My channel has about some Tagalog, some English, some uh, Bisaya, some Portuguese. Um, I try to encourage all your students, sir, to just try to preach, even if I don't understand what they are teaching. I just see the Bible verses. I think it's from the Bible. So, <laughs> U.S., no problem. There are churches in the U.S. Philippines, no problem. There are churches in the Philippines. But how about Saudi Arabia? So, the, U the Americans, the Canadians, the Filipinos can laugh at me, at my videos. But the Saudi Arabians, it's not easy there to have a church. If my auntie hides her Bible in Saudi Arabia. United Kingdom, okay. United Arab Emirates, also I think not easy. So the, the people there are looking for the truth. And uh, about uh, 216 countries. This is an example of audience analytics. You can see, we, these are the top five videos. You can see which video was popular at what date. And you can try to guess what happened. So some videos I uploaded for one year. I have the, I'm the only one who has that video because I'm the only one who found that link. So it became very popular. And some people copied my video, and of course Adventists, you know, it's better to just have all of this. Everybody, all Adventists should do this one. That's why I want to, but only Adventists, the rest should not. <laughs> so you can see the growth of each video, how they are performing. If you do paste, if you paste in groups in Facebook, I found out if I do paste in 100 groups in Facebook, it increases by 10 views per uh, group I paste. So, but some experiments I never pasted, and it just generates uh, views. This one is the Dog Bachelor's uh, GC sermons. Uh, it's popular because, <clears throat> I don't know why, because maybe there are many backsliders or offshoots that like this message. And uh, the way he outlined the Bible verses, I have not heard that kind of outline yet, because you know evangelistic or revival, but that one for calling offshoots and backsliders is very unique. Of course, this one is very popular, the title. That's why that is by Pastor Orbe. But as you see, there is only 1% esti estimated minutes watched because it's actually a boring, the start of the video is boring, there is a drama. But the title, what we can learn here, the title gets videos. Of course, that's the mark of the beast of Mark Finley. This is some missionary telling stories about music. And then this, what is hell? I re-uploaded this. I downloaded it from Amazing Facts. You know, they allow everyone to download their videos. And I uploaded it. I changed the title. Experimentally, without uh, promoting in Facebook or YouTube or G Google+. And it just gets many views without promotion. Because people are asking, where is hell? What is hell? And if your video is the same, you will get hits automatically. So that, that is, uh, in the last two minutes, I want to show that the viewer, YouTube is not going back. We have to, you know, <laughs> we have to put our truth in YouTube. This is the, how it increased. It is going up, going up. 
And one more thing to, you know, uh, it's nice to talk to teachers who are in the school and to uh, people who have influence about the students. Because as schools, we have a collection of many different kinds of languages in the school. And you have their, we can advise them, we can guide them. If they are out there, my friends who are good pastors, when they are in the field, they cannot preach in the video anymore. There's no more time. They are, uh, their time is taken by administrativa and, you know, fixing things in the church. But while they are in the school, while they are practicing, while they are in your control, it's very big opportunity, especially for Adventist schools, because all kinds of languages and cultures come. Okay, lastly, I want to show you some numbers here. Google has a tool, advertising tool. If you want to spend money on advertising words, you can test your words and they will tell you how many monthly searches or test your sentence, how many monthly searches. There are 5 million people who type, how can I be saved in Google every month? So we have to have all possible languages, Adventist answer on how to be saved. But all, re all Christian religions have this video. So it's very hard to be on top. How to pray? 3.3 million people type, how can I, how to pray, how do I pray in Google? We have to have an answer in all languages that we know. That's why even I'm not good in Tagalog, I try, I just uh, read. Pastor Amaral has very nice Tagalog. Me, I is uh, not so much. But the nice thing is, which is the seventh day? What is the seventh day? What is the Sabbath? 11 million searches in Google every month. How? What is the Sabbath? The nice thing, the first page of this one, the answers are all from Adventists. So this is very nice. I think my time is up. And uh, if, uh, uh, okay, this is just uh, repeating everything. Maybe we're at time for questions. Okay, do you have any question in relation to this presentation this afternoon? Questions? <coughs> Can we invite you to teach us how to work in that? <laughs> yes sir, yes sir, I'll be very... It's a I'm big... on the members. Yes sir, yes sir. Yes. Because that's a, a really functional. Yes sir, yes sir. No problem sir. I'll be very happy to do it. When we leave and roam, a while ago I took at that point you showed us we can also know the viewers age. Oh yeah, it was showing a while ago, but I'm not really interested in that, so I did not consider uh, analyzing that part. Because the reason I was not serious about that is uh, because it depends on the if the viewer has logged in to YouTube. And I think, I suspect that many viewer, YouTube viewers are not actually logged in. So I didn't uh, really take that into consideration. So to log in this, uh, your, your web, they will have to key in their age? No, no, no. Uh, YouTube has, you know, YouTube and Google are highly connected. And your profile, they can see. So when you log in in Gmail, when you view YouTube, you are also automatically logged in. So when you click this, your profile there is tagged on the statistics. Yes. But I suspect that many of the viewers are not logged in. That's why I don't really count on this. Yes. Is it possible to know how long the viewer stayed on the site? Because maybe, like, like in this level of mine, maybe uh, those were some of the annoying uh, clicks that they just clicked and then they talked. Yes, yes, ma'am. <coughs> I, I, I would like to show you it live, but there's no internet that's uh, working properly here. It's called viewer retention. Inside uh, YouTube analytics, there is viewer retention. And you can view the view, you can see the viewer retention in all, on all your videos. You can see which videos people don't watch very much, which videos people actually watch. By the way, there is the what is hell, where is hell. There are two parts. And people, 6,000 people watch the first part, and 2,000 people watch the second hour. That means uh, people are interested in knowing. And even Kuya Jun's, I, I told you the average in my YouTube is 19 minutes, compared to the whole YouTube average, which is three minutes uh, bored. They are bored already, but me, at least I. <laughs> By the way, do not be, if you try to do this, do not be discouraged when you see the viewer retention drop like this. That's normal even Mark Finley and Doug Bachelor, but even if only few finish, still some finish. 
Okay. Still some fish. Still some fish I found. I think we don't have time now to continue on with the question and answer portion. I'd like to present the certificate of presentation to Mr. Winifred Asamba for his topic, <coughs> Factors Affecting Online Religious Education, Media Successes. Thank you. Thank you.